सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू डे एंड न्यू ब्लॉक एंड वी हैव विद अस शुभदीप दास एंड ये स्टडे वी टॉक्ड अबाउट वट इज़ अ प्राइवेट सिंगल अपार्टमेंट अ वेरी वेल एक्सप्लेन बाय शुभदीप एंड टुडे एज वी प्रोमिस्ड विल शो यू हिज प्राइवेट सिंगल अपार्टमेंट विच इज करेंटली ऑफ द कॉस्ट अराउंड सिक्स थर्टी यूरोज सिक्स थर्टी यूरोज सो विल सी दिस यू मस्ट हैव सीन यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड इन सीन मुंतसीज अपार्टमेंट फोटो as well as my story how i got my apartment 398 euros then muntasir 300 euros that was shared apartment but this is private single apartment mm. 630 euros yeah. so shubdeep it's on you so yeah. now uh, we'll show you shubdeep and his apartment so this is the entrance to the apartment okay and uh, our apartment keys are very special so like everyone's key can open the main door okay But leading up to that now, so we have the lift here. Uh -huh. So let's use the lift. So your apartment is in basement. No, my apartment is on the second floor. Second floor, and we have oh, we have to go up. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we have to take this lift. Hmm. Very. So over here we go second floor. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's second floor, but it's a bit weird. I'll show you what I mean by that. Why weird? I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeah. It's second floor, and this E is for Ed Gishos. Yeah. The ground floor. Yeah. Okay, we reached quickly okay. in a Now, good time. Now the weird part of the of the second floor is that there are no apartments on the second floor, as you can see. Yeah. What you do is you either go down to your apartment or up to your apartment. So it's a pretty weird layout. I don't know why they do yeah. this. Anyways, so we go down one floor. Yeah. And we finally reach. My apartment, which is twenty eight point three. So this is again, I told you these keys are very special. So this yeah. door is for the twenty eighth apartment. Okay. This side we have a shared hallway yeah. that leads to uh, to twenty eight point one, twenty eight point two, and twenty eight point three. Yeah. Twenty point three being mine. Okay. So this key, so only twenty eight point one, twenty eight point two, and twenty point three guys can open this door. Okay. You understand the specialty of this? Yeah, door? yeah. So I can open this door, obviously. Let's go inside. This is the hallway. Nice, man. Okay, so now that is twenty eight point one. This is twenty eight point two, and this is my apartment twenty eight point three. Okay, so let's go inside. Let's go. <laughs> and this is yeah. the welcome apartment. To Mikasa. <laughs> well, welcome to Mikasa. Means uh, my abode. Oh, my abode. See, so this is uh, Shubhdeep's yeah. apartment. Uh, so you have put the mattress here, yeah. and then if we come inside, it's quite spacious, man. Mm -hmm. So it's a good space. Uh, how much meter square you told it is? Oh, it's thirty-five meter square. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So it's thirty-five meter square, and if we look at look here. then this is a very good study table yep. i must say the gaming chair or the non <laughs> chair it's so cool then his screen mm -hmm. and this is the shelf right yep. for putting all the stuff yeah, it's just a mini cupboard i use a mini cupboard because it, because i notice that i don't have that many clothes yeah that needs so like i don't have that many jackets that need a huge cupboard so yeah. for that i use a mini cupboard now this is the most best thing of this apartment which is the view let me show wow So good and look at the clouds, man. So <laughs> cloudy, green, and, and uh, such a all of this aesthetic uh, view. Yeah, the gardening of this place and everything. Also with the uh, the things like cleaning out the the driveway, mm. like if it snows, clearing out the snow, everything. All of that is included in the rent. Wow. Also, the rent includes an underground parking spot, a bicycle storage, also paying for the garbage disposal. Mm. So yeah. It does include a lot of a uh, lot of stuff that might not be included in a lot of the apartments. Okay. Yeah, and that explains like this apartment is quite huge, so that's yeah. why the rent is also quite big. Yeah. Correct. And if what's here? Uh, in that side. That that. Uh, so before uh, when I first came here, I used to share this apartment with another roommate. Hmm. Hence, we use that divider hmm. to uh, like sep uh, like divide the apartment from middle. Mm. But he had to leave for some reason, so mm. I've just kept the divider now, which mm. is up for sale if you guys want it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's cool. And where's the kitchen that you took? So yeah, what happens now? Another thing about single apartments. Usually, what happens is that the kitchen is like shrunk to one small corner of the room, yeah. and uh, you know, it's it's like there's almost no space to like cook. Mm. 
Hmm. But this apartment does give you a separate like space for your kitchen, wow. as you can see here. So this is my completely separate kitchen, and it's the kitchen is furnished. The yeah. kitchen has every like all the common everything like IKEA furniture and the cupboards and yeah. the stove, also a fridge. Wow, fridge, and a fridge is also there. Yeah, fridge and a storage compartment. Okay, and this is the fridge, right? Yep. Yeah. And here you can get stove, hmm. then some cupboards and some more cupboards here. Yeah. And this is. Uh, a microwave a microwave here and you can it's it's yeah. i must say it's quite spacious quite spacious yeah. yeah you can do your chopping or facing here correct then take it here and cook correct mm. it's so good and look at the space man mm. like the entire space it's w very well managed like yeah. on one side you have the mattresses and all and yeah, that's uh, the thing about a 35 meter square apartment that yeah and a fan because of, yeah because of this huge space you can like uh, design it accordingly and also it was unfurnished so I was able to get a lot of stuff and design it accordingly the yeah. way I wanted yeah so yeah that's the advantage of getting a bigger flat okay and I'm seeing a little bit of peak here of yeah. the balcony so can we uh, just see yeah, the balcony also yeah so the balcony I usually don't go on go out of the balcony that much so yeah. I've just been using it to like store like ca uh, cardboards and stuff like that yeah. which I don't need clean equipment etc but yeah, we can come onto the balcony and uh, again experience the view once more. Yeah, so good. Okay, let's see. I really love this view. See? So good. And you get good air. Yeah, and good ventilation. I think ventilation is also decent. Mm -hmm. And oh, here's the heater, right? Yeah. So, so the room has two heaters. Yeah, it's two heaters. Two, okay. Two heaters because the one large heater for like the whole of the space. Yeah. That's why you have that large heater. And if you like, suppose you're cooking in the kitchen and like you need an, like, you need heating because often what happens is that I've noticed that if you only switch on that heater, hmm. this area is like warmed up, but like inside the kitchen or like if you come go over to this area, suppose it's not really that warm, so hmm. that's why you have another heater for the small one. Hmm. As you can see, but another advantage of this flat is that, as you can see, the carpet, like the flooring, is carpeted. Hmm. So, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, because of this carpeted flooring, it traps heat well, and yeah. that's why, like, often I didn't even need to like turn on the heaters. Yeah. Like, I believe the last time and like I only turned on the heater last winter, I guess just once. Yeah. Because it snowed really heavily. Hmm. But that was it, I guess. Yeah. I never turned on the heater because. This carpeted flooring really traps, really traps heat that well. Yeah, that is so good. So mm -hmm. this is all the space and uh, where's the washroom that you told okay, that you yeah, have a separate? So the washroom was on the way where we are coming in. Okay. So coming back to where we came from. This here is the washroom. Okay. As you can see, it's again quite a big washroom. Yeah, like, it's quite... It's, uh, it's decent. Like, it's not that big as a I must room. compliment, it's a good one. Yeah. And if you come over here, there's a mini bathtub, like a one-person bathtub, which you wow. can use. Yeah. Mm. Also shower, like mini bathtub plus shower. Mm. And just necessities and stuff like that. Okay, but it's so good. Like the yeah. washroom is here at the entrance, then your room is here and you have a separate kitchen on the left-hand side. And good venti ventilation. Yep. And right now the heater is not much of use, but mm -hmm. the uh, fan is doing the work. Yeah. And so it's good. And... Thank you, Shubhdi, for uh, showing your great uh, apartment. Now, I w would like to know uh, how you got uh, this apartment, like how you applied for okay, it. Okay, so there is a very famous, he's quite famous landlord in mm. Kaislautern. His name is Niels Kirshner. Mm. Niels and Eva Kirshner, they, mm. are, uh, they are the like, couple who run the company. Mm. And uh, Niels Kirshner is the one who usually has a website that rents out the flats mm. and um, like I, what, what me and that me and my roommate were doing basically mm. that uh, what me and my roommate were basically yeah, this doing is, is that yeah I know what me and my roommate were basically doing is that we were checking out these landlords and their apartments yeah like uh, landlords and their website sorry correct so uh, what we were what we were actually looking for is that two person apartments like apartment that is good for two people yeah or like maybe if we can get single apartments for each of uh, both of us yeah that's when we uh, that's when we 
got to know about Kirshner Immobilien hmm. and Kirshner Immobilien actually there we were able to find about this apartment Kutra hmm. Market 28.3 hmm. and according to like Kutra Market 62 28.3 hmm. and that's how we were able to discover that it's quite a big flat yeah. and if we use a room divider as i showed you yeah. then we will be able to share it and we were able to get registrations on both of our names so yeah. that wasn't the problem again okay so this is how you got your apartment and uh you searched in via landlord contacts yeah but so, how you got those contacts okay, in the so website no not the website so what happens is that when you get your um let's say uh, admit from the university oh from the university shared some contacts yeah, yeah same i yeah. also contacted one of the landladies correct so there if i usually google these people yeah because usually they have a website of their own yeah i usually just i just google like for, for example mr kershner i just google neil's kershner yeah guys is not a landlord yeah and i the first link that came up was his website yeah. it was kershner immobilien gmh yeah. yeah and that that's where i got to know that he is a he's quite a famous landlord here actually yeah. like a lot of the apartments in this like apartment complex are his and he yeah. rents out all of them yeah so yeah Okay, so th- and have you searched in other applications like Vega Gazoo yeah, or Facebook? Yeah, I did Facebook? search in Vega Gazoo and uh, um, social media apps like Facebook. Uh, no, use? I didn't use social media, uh, face like social media apps like Facebook. But yeah, I've heard that that's quite a viable option mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, my search was limited to like emailing landlords, checking out the websites through Vega Gazoo and through another website called Emo Scout. Okay, so you searched in those yeah. apps as well. and how was the response for you at that time uh, regarding the apartments regarding the apartments like i got i got responses from vega soup not so much from emo scout hmm. however vega soup people were usually like even even on vega soup you know that the demand is quite high to get the flat so um like i was usually put on a waiting list and i had to wait a long time but i was getting impatient cuz i need to open up my i i need an address to open up my bank account hmm. and start my blocked account So for that I was I kept on emailing landlords and because I know that the, at the end of the day the landlords are the ones who own the flat hmm. so they will be the ones who have like who can give out the flat the quickest hmm. if you know what I mean so uh, I emailed landlords I checked out the websites and finally I was able to get a flat with uh, get an apartment okay through Mr Koshna and now your rent is three six uh, thirty yeah. and if if we break it down like Muntasi told he. Uh, like you also mentioned yesterday the entire radio tax you have radio tax yeah. you have to pay yeah. so is the radio tax included in this rent no the radio tax is not included in the rent okay and how much is the radio tax you pay radio tax is 18 euros per month so that's like uh, that's usually charged uh, okay. tri monthly i believe and the heating charge and electricity oh, that's is... included in the rent okay so that's the rent included. includes the heating electricity water the payment of the caretakers the building maintenance garbage disposal the your underground um uh parking lot uh, space oh you have a parking lot as yeah. well oh nice yeah that's all these apartments have a parking lot space yeah because there's a like separate parking lot for this whole apartment complex yeah. so everybody has a space a uh, bicycle storage yeah and um what else is there yeah, i believe that's it yeah. okay and if i talk about the internet uh, mm-hmm. you uh, is the internet was the internet included or no, you the internet wasn't included but what i did was that i knew that vodafone was giving out a uh, like a, an offer yeah. which is like 6 months free internet for the first 6 like for 6 months yeah. and after that you can you pay like 20 euros or something like that hmm. so that's what i took for from vodafone and it's working really fine like i have like as a student that's the amount like it gives me a good amount of speed yeah yep. see the look at the weather <laughs> and so good na yeah. it's so beautiful to see yeah, my the voice, windy the, my voice made the weather do that <laughs> that's cool <laughs> and uh, so this was uh, related to your uh, apartment rent yeah. and what things which were included which were not included mm-hmm. and uh, how you got your apartment yep. and uh, now this is a private single apartment mm-hmm. so are you planning to shift to uh, other apartment or you are uh, like staying in this apartment yeah or I, how long first of all how long have you been staying in so this so it will be a year this coming september yeah uh, and that is that, that is usually the contract with mr kershner that he yeah. usually plans you to take the apartment for at least one year after yeah. that you can it's for like voluntary how, yeah. however how long you want to stay uh, however yeah i am i am planning to shift to a student dorm i got a student dorm recently ah oh, great yeah. And so I'll be shifting to the student dorm, uh, which is at the same as uh, Nishant Kushmaker Ten. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, neighbors. Yeah, neighbors definitely. 
and uh, so I'll be uh, doing that and I will be probably sh uh, shifting from uh, Octo either October or November. Uh, I'm still showing this apartment to tenants, like to possible tenants. Even today I showed my apartment mm. to another tenant. Um, so yeah, this apartment is available. If through this video, if you want to like contact me regarding this apartment or contact yeah. Mr. Kirshner about this apartment, you can do that. This apartment will be available from either from October or November. Okay. And uh, any other info you want to share regarding the apartment, although you, I think, covered your details okay, yeah, or any uh, special info you feel that needs to be trans. Yeah. I really like the location of this apartment mainly because uh, it's really, first of all, it's really close to the university. Yeah. But, and you would say that, okay, Kurchumakar, the student dorms are really close to the university as well. Yeah. But what this apartment has over the Kurchumakar dorms is that there's no like noise, like, like no disturbance of any of that sort. So like, um, like often it would happen in Kushmakar dorms that there are usually like people playing loud music or something. Yeah, like but but are, actually it depends. Like it for depends, my building, it's it not noisy. I feel. But I've heard a lot of people. Yeah, some buildings are, some buildings are not. Yeah. I am. But yeah. it nothing of that sort happens here. It's really yeah. quite. It's there's a lot of privacy first yeah. in this in the in these apartments, and uh, yeah. Uh, what else to mention? It's it's so good and mm -hmm. I really like the uh, see first mm -hmm. I'll just show the weather. Yeah. It's it has started raining. It's so good. If you look at the weather, it was already a bit cloudy, and see it's so green. You can just stand here and enjoy the view, or maybe you can stand mm -hmm. in the balcony <laughs> and enjoy the view. Yeah, and if I just uh, uh, we went through the apartment, like there was a kitchen, then there was a separate washroom, and this is. Uh, again, if you can uh, remind, how much square meter is it? It's 35 square meters. 35 square meters. So if you can see the area, it's so uh, I mean, spacious, right? You can also put some stuff if you want. But I think it's good that uh, uh, the stuff, uh, what is needed is yeah. there. And then you have the rest of the space. So it looks quite spacious. Mm -hmm. And uh, nice setup, the yeah. gaming chair and the monitors. Yeah. So thank you, Shubhdeep, mm -hmm. for showing your apartment and uh, telling about the details. Yeah, now, my pleasure. yeah, and before ending, I'll just turn the camera. So Shubhdeep's mm -hmm. apartment, which is six thirty euros, yeah. is available. And how can we contact them? I think I'll mention your contact in the uh, yeah, link. Yeah, I'll pro uh, provide you with the link of the website where okay. it's available. Kaushal okay. Mobile and GMBH. Yeah. So and yeah, you can contact Mr. Kaushal through that, and then he will ask you to set up a viewing appointment. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And maybe I'll mention your. Uh, uh, yeah, phone contact well. so that you can also contact contact mm -hmm. Shubhdeep regarding the details mm -hmm. and uh, you can take the appointment for him with him mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, if anyone is interested mm -hmm. uh, so he can show you the apartment mm -hmm. also uh, as he mentioned we'll put the landlord's website yep. link as well landlord's website landlord's right? website yep. yeah so we'll put that as well in the description so whoever is interested so good mm -hmm. if anyone is coming to Kaiserslautern this is their private single apartment mm -hmm. 630 euros 35 square meter yep. and so spacious mm -hmm. and just stand here and enjoy the view and rainy <laughs> rain mm -hmm. rain and once again uh, that's it for this video and i hope you get some of information how the private single apartment uh, looks like this is a private single apartment in kaiserslautern in germany uh, it depends on places as well but i hope you get a general idea mm -hmm. of uh, a bit of information how the apartment look like and that's it We'll see you in new day, new vlog. Rest you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. It doesn't take much time. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.